Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Growth Chinese. 欢迎大家收看今天的成长汉语 We've got a fun lineup for today's show. We're going to go over some of the ways one complains in Chinese. That's right. While complaining all the time isn't something to be encouraged, it can't hurt to know how you might go about expressing displeasure or dissatisfaction in Chinese. You never know when you might need those tools. So, who do we have complaining today? You're guessing correctly if you're thinking it's Xiao Ming. <laughs> he is quite opinionated, isn't he? Well, let's check in with him and see just what has him complaining today. Xiao Ming, 吵死了。你们把音乐开那么大干嘛？阿姨好，兰兰，你们俩干什么呢？下周我们学校有联欢会，我们几个女生打算表演唱歌，我正在练习呢。哦，是这么回事啊？你们练的怎么样了？妈。他唱的实在太棒了，兰兰，小明，你们唱了这么半天了，写作业吧。嗯，好吧。好的，好，写作业。我写完作业了。小明，我们来预习一下明天的课吧。哎呦，预习什么新课呢？小明，这怎么这么不听话呀？你整天只想着玩。早把功课的事儿忘得一干二净了。谁说的？我不是已经开始预习了吗？你这个孩子，你看人家兰兰，学习成绩多好啊！兰兰，你以后啊，要多帮帮小明，尤其是他的作文，写的太差了。妈，您别奈何不开题奈何，好不好？我挺聪明的。我也没说你笨啊，你的成绩上不去，多半是因为太贪玩了。好吧，好吧，我服您了。您放心吧，我们俩预习一下语文。小明要是有不懂的，我给他讲。好啊，谢谢兰兰。阿姨，您别客气。惠子相良，庄子往见之。或谓惠子曰：“庄子来，欲待子相。”于是惠子恐。你这个孩子。曰：“南方有鸟，其名为什么鸠？子之之乎？夫什么鸠发于南海，而非于北海，非吾统不止。”Looks like Xiao Ming and his mom weren't too happy with each other today. It is always hard to focus on homework when there are other fun things to be doing. But as the saying goes, work comes before play. So let's take a quick look at the details of what just happened, and then we can play. Okay? Xiao Ming 吵死了！你们把音乐开那么大干嘛？ Xiao Ming, it's too noisy. Why do you guys have the music volume up so high? Chao is noisy, so chao sila is noisy to death or just way too noisy. Gan ma is a very colloquial way to say gan shema or what are you doing? What's going on? Why? Oh, 是这么回事儿 This means oh, so that's what's going on. That's how it is. 你们练的怎么样了 How is your practice going? 练 is to practice. 小明，我们来预习一下明天的新课吧。小明 ，Let's go over tomorrow's new lesson, okay? Now, 预习 refers specifically to going over or preparing lessons before class. Xiao Ming, 吵死了！你们把音乐开那么大干嘛？阿姨好，兰兰
，你们俩干什么呢？下周我们学校有联欢会，我们几个女生打算表演唱歌，我正在练习呢。哦，是这么回事啊？你们练的怎么样了？妈，他唱的实在太棒了。兰兰，小明，你们唱了这么半天了。写作业吧。嗯，好吧。好，好，写作业。我写完作业了。小明，我们来预习一下明天的课吧。兰兰，你以后要多帮帮小明，尤其是他的作文写的太差了。兰兰 ，In the future, you need to help Xiaoming some more, especially his essays. He doesn't write well at all. 尤其 means especially, and 作文 is essay or composition. 差 is bad or poor. 写的太差了 writes very badly. Hmm. Okay. Some of you might be thinking Xiaoming's mom is being a little too harsh here. We'll talk more about this in today's cultural spotlight. So don't worry about it for now. 谁说的？我不是已经开始预习了吗？你这个孩子。你看人家兰兰，学习成绩多好啊！兰兰，你以后啊，要多帮帮小明，尤其是他的作文，写的太差了。妈，您别奈何不开题奈何，好不好？我挺聪明的。我也没说你笨呀，你的成绩上不去，多半是因为太贪玩了。I didn't say you were stupid. For the most part, the reason why your grades don't get better is because you like to play too much. Ben means stupid. 成绩上不去 your grades won't go up or your grades won't get better. 多半 literally means more than half, or for the most part, probably, most likely. 贪玩 means to be crazy about playing, obsessed with playing. Ma. 您别奈何不开题奈何，好不好？我挺聪明的。我也没说你笨啊，你的成绩上不去，多半是因为太贪玩了。好吧，好吧，我服您了。您放心吧，我们俩预习一下语文。小明要是有不懂的，我给他讲。好啊，谢谢兰兰。阿姨，您别客气。All right, that just about wraps up today's general overview of the dialogue. Now it's time to get into some specifics. First off, let's go through today's vocabulary list, and then we'll get on to our radical of the day. 打算 intend, plan, 打算棒 wonderful, excellent, good, 棒预习 prepare lessons before class. 预习，成绩 ，grades， 成绩。哪壶不开提哪壶 ，to air one's dirty laundry in public。哪壶不开提哪壶。Today we're going to take a look at the radical bay. Now bay is interesting because on its own it's a character. And it has a meaning. So here is our character, Bei. On its own, it means shellfish. But in ancient China, Bei referred to valuables and money. So oftentimes, when you see Bei used as a radical, the character will have something to do with valuables or money. Now, Tan is the character we see the radical Bei used in today. Let's take a look at this character. Pan, pan on its own means corrupt or greedy. So this character certainly does deserve the bay radical, doesn't it? We saw Xiaoming's mom criticize Xiaoming quite intensely in front of Lan Lan in today's clip. We also saw Xiaoming's mom praise Lan Lan on how her grades were so great and how well she does in school. 
Now, this kind of discipline method is really quite common in China. I've seen parents criticize their children by saying things like, "You're stupid," or "You're disrespectful of your elders," or "You have no manners," or even "You're an idiot." Now, it depends on the situation, of course, but a large part of the time, these comments are meant to be taken as what is in between the lines. And as a whole, Chinese people are whizzes at reading in between the lines or knowing the unspoken meaning of what is being said. Now, depending on where you're from, the Chinese way of criticism might not be a big deal for you, or it might be a very serious matter. Either way, it's important to talk about these things, to open up discussion on these topics. Our world has never been smaller. And just because I might do something this way doesn't mean that your way of doing something is better or worse. It's simply different. And to know that these differences exist is what makes all of us more understanding, more open-minded, and more compassionate as citizens of the world. All right, everyone. It's time to take a look at some of the language points that came up in today's dialogue. And to start off, we've got 尤其 Yoti is used to emphasize something, like how we might use especially or particularly in English. 她的外语说得很好，尤其是英文 She's very good at speaking foreign languages, especially English. Now today, Xiao Ming's mom said, "Lan Lan, you 以后要多帮帮小明，尤其是他的作文写得太差了。Lan Lan, in the future, you need to help Xiao Ming some more with his schoolwork. His essays, in particular, are written very poorly. Let's look at some more 尤其 examples. 我喜欢吃中餐，尤其是川菜。我也是啊。你喜欢学汉语吗？喜欢，我尤其喜欢学写汉字。这，这 is used today as a function word. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, in Chinese, certain words are used to perform the grammatical functions of structure of tense. So, zhe is used after a verb to show the continuation of an action. 说着说着，他就睡着了。As he was talking, he fell asleep. Now, Xiao Ming's mom says, 你整天只想着玩。All you think about in a day is playing. 想着 the act of thinking and then continuing. To think, let's look at some more "ju" examples. Day 这么热，你还穿着毛衣？我没觉得热啊。我喜欢听着音乐睡觉，你呢？我可不喜欢。多半 ，more than half, or probably, most likely, most. Duo implies high possibility or most, depending on how it's used. 他多半时间在美国生活 Most of the time, he lives in the states. 他多半是兰兰的老师 He most likely is Lan Lan's teacher. Okay, so today Xiao Ming's mom said, 你的成绩上不去，多半是因为太贪玩了。Your grades won't go up in large part because you like to play so much. Let's look at some more examples. 你知道兰兰旁边那个人是谁吗？多半是他表哥。All right, everyone, that's a wrap. 我们很快就要说再见了，因为今天没有时间了。大家别忘了复习我们今天讲的汉语。Don't forget to review the Chinese we discussed today. 你们也可以上我们的网站去看看。And you can always go to our website and check out anything you want. So that's all we have time for today. See you all next time. 大家加油，下次见。